This place is heavily guarded. I must think clearly. <laughs>
I worried you'd come to harm. I did not, but the wren did. May the wren's blood ooze into the lonely earth and feed the forest with red milk. Give me the shard for the cure. The humors of the ancient tree live on in the amber now sparked by blood. Look, it turns deep crimson. The cure will be painful. The soldiers will writhe and plead to be killed as a mercy. But in a few hours, they will be well. Thank the spirits of the earth. The wren carried a note. A note? The poisoning and the plan to accuse Barith was the doing of someone called the Cursed. There is a cottage in Tuam where the Cursed hides. Perhaps we can find who made the poison there. It is a small hope, but hope still. It is nearby. We must go. Not yet. The cure is prepared. You must deliver it as quickly as you can. I will look for this mysterious cursed. You take the cure to Cashelor. Three or four drops on each soldier. No more. Thank you, good friend. Goodbye. Eivor, I'll meet you under the tree outside Tuam, heading south. The cursed will be your second child of Danu, Eivor. There are others. Were you to bring me all their shards, I could mix you a potion that would give you the first of the blazing sun. I will fell this one. Then I will think on the others and your mysterious son. Before you go, there is a darkness rolling toward Kira. Please watch over her.
Interesting. Must be blocked from the other side.
of the village. That is odd. Little is left of the body, mangled. Such massive wounds could only come from a bear. Your death is an event. I should not be seen in this area. Thanks be. You're not one of them. One of who? The Danu. Not like any druids I've ever seen before. They grabbed me. And me mates. We got lost in the fog and... Me mates. Keep your wits about you. The High Druid calls herself the Cursed. She sacrificed them, bit by bit. You understand? First a hand, then a leg. You should run while you're intact. But first, what is the Cursed planning to do? She dragged old Finton to some ritual. Poor man. I daren't think what's become of him. Save yourself. I will. I'm done with this place. A shoddy sacrifice. They will learn no portents from this. Something about a puka. It is not much, but Kira may know what it means.
Kira said to meet outside the village to the south. Best raise my hood here. Eivor, I deliver. Has Barleth escaped Flan's wrath? He has, and is much relieved. The soldiers are coming back to themselves. What have you learned? The Cursed will perform a sacrificial ritual. Sacrifice? Fee, the Cursed is then a High Druid. I learned that she is. But what does that mean? She wields great power. She will be protected by her acolytes. Not only her acolytes. I also learned the ceremony will be protected by a... What was it? A pook. A puka? That will be dangerous, but we've no choice. The ritual will likely be held at Carnagan. We must look there. What is a puka? A kind of animal? A kind of animal? I will explain on the way. Come. You promised to explain about the puka. Sure. They were once marvelous creatures, able to take the forms of any animal. Now, they're dangerous. Is this a jest? Have you no such creatures in Norway? There is Fenrir, wolf to the gods. Fenrir, wolf to the gods, but he is unusual. Well, pukas are common in Ireland. Pukas? Sacrificial rituals? Is this your world? The children of Danu are an aberration. True pagans oppose them. Flan knows our traditions will disappear without his support. He has pledged not to let that happen. Careful now. Pukas are quick. Tracks chewing long clothes and stay on your guard. There, tracks. The Puka, follow it. Looks like a wolf. Because the puka is in the shape of a wolf just now. Fog enters into my head. Mine as well. Did the wolf speak?
What in the Nine Realms was that beast? Wished. The ritual has begun. This way. to see the rising of the sun. betrayed us. I curse you with all the powers of the moon. Your curses mean nothing. You drew back when we most needed your awful might. And now... The cursed is dead. She accused you of betraying the children of Danu. I was once one of them. How can this be? Deirdre warned me against them, but...
but back then, it seemed the only hope. You knew these people. Why did you not direct me to the Ren? They only wanted to use me. Distrustful and secretive. I never knew their true names or anything about them. A glen of great beauty lies on our road. Find me when you're ready, and I'll confess my errors there. It is beautiful. I used to wash away my cares and pain in this pond. Would it be all right if I... Of course. As a young girl, when the Christians cleared the forests of druids, I fled and stumbled on this spot. How would I survive? My friends, the world I knew, Soon, I turned to the children of Thanu. At first, they pledged simply to keep the old ways alive. Then, one by one, druids turned to dark rituals. Then they turned to worse. Yes, even murder. I disavowed the children, and now pray for their destruction. The high druids spoke of some sort of awful might. Fantasies, an ancient fable of a people long lost. The druids are now dispersed without a champion. You have King Flon. My hopes are placed in him, but am I a fool? He has no deep love of the past. He hopes to build a new Ireland. He pledges that my people will be part of it. But once he's king, storms will come. I cannot know where he will take refuge. You are no fool. You and I have been through much together. We came near death. I would like to celebrate life. Is this why you brought me to this place? Tis a lovely glen. Perhaps we could pass some time here. I would like very much to pass some time with you. I... lovely. Lovely indeed.
Eivor, I have you and Kira to thank for curing my men. Even if the source of this sucker does not sit easily with me. Not all druids are your enemies, Lord. It is the children of Danu who attacked you. Kira has told me of this druid cult. They are no great threat if they must strike from the shadows. Perhaps they only sought to sow doubt among their enemies, and the friends of their enemies. I regret my earlier distrust. But I've seen too much Irish blood spilt by Danes to give trust easily. I know what it is to be bloodbound, Lord. It burns so bright it can blind to all else. So, King, if Allah is the prize, how do you mean to take it? The Ringfort there is the strongest in all the lands. Yet the kings of Allah dwell outside its protection, foolishly leaving themselves vulnerable. Still, that's a long march over uncertain soil. Your army will be exposed to forces unknown. Abaddon has offered land at Clahar, where our army will make camp. From there, we move on to Alech. This just arrived. The kings of Alech want to talk peace. They surrender before you touch their soil? I know those who would die for such a reputation. I don't like it. The wording is vague. Asking much and promising little. What's the harm in hearing them out? If we start with the sword, we have nowhere else to go. They know me. They'll listen. You would speak for me. If you would honor me with your trust. Do you have an opinion, Eivor? Or will you simply side with your cousin? It is not my decision to make, Lord. Too much is balanced on the edge of a sculpt's sharp blade. So, you would leave it to your fate. Drift along like a leaf on the river. My life has been one of warfare, plots, and intrigue. I have never known the trust of a brother, and do not give mine over easily. Arith McEver, King of Dublin, I hereby authorize you to speak for me, Flan Shinna, High King of Ireland and all of her people. I will honor the faith you have placed in me, my king. Do I have your blessing to accompany Barith, King Flan? I'll not waste our time on formalities, Eivor. But you'll not be going with Barris. I need you elsewhere. Tell me where. You must build up some goodwill among the northern Enail, as you've done for other kingdoms. Kira will provide the details at the pigeon coops. I will earn you their favor, Lord, for the trust you've shown my cousin.
Save you now.
What's this? Oh. 